ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Two Fat Guys Talking Flowers, where we're always going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly about flowers. I'm Fern here with Joel. We got Mimi in the house. We got Ryan on Zoom. We got Mike on Zoom in Jeff Fresh North Country and our international man of mystery with a million nicknames. Our guest is none <laughs> other than the Dennis Wheeler, National Sales Manager with Chrysler. Mr. Leaf Shine. <laughs> Mr. Leaf Shine. I've heard, Thank you. I've Thank heard you, like Fern. seven <laughs> nicknames. He's got the most nicknames yeah. I've ever heard. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, well, I don't know about seven, but I, like I answered any, pretty yeah. much anything. You had a lot of siblings, so it's normal, right, to have nicknames, right? I was the baby, so mom protected me. So I didn't I didn't have too many. <laughs> you know mom, that goes. mom always protects the baby, let me tell you. It's wild. That's right. That's right. It looks That's like right. there's a bunch of mama so. bears behind Dennis in the cabin or his uh his background. No, the the woods are pretty quiet right now. I don't think we got any uh bears going on right now. We're good. So, so Dennis, nice. Dennis looks like he's in a fa- a fake background. The lighting's perfect. He's like glowing, but he's re- he's really in the woods. Me, Ryan, and Mike yep. all asked if he if that was a background or that was real. That's funny. It looks yep. like one of those Zoom backgrounds. <laughs> yep. No, nope, it's not Zoom. It's the real deal. It moves. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, before yep, we yep, get yep, to yep. to listening to Dennis, um, I feel like, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We had a lot of responses to our question on social media. Love that. It's get, it's starting to get popular, Ryan. Mm. All right. So pre-episode question, what flower job or task could be an Olympic sport? First one, Green Park, Stickman, backing a 53-foot trailer into a loading dock. Floral Trade Distributors, you know you're right. And that would be an epic event. There was uh, Mimi separating stacked buckets, oh, especially the ones that have been wet, that yeah. were put together wet. It, it, yeah. That's That's got to be a talent. That's a good one. That's, that's a like, good one. Uh, that's like you the, go, how sometimes strong you're are going you? smooth, but then there's just one that you just can't get. No, yeah. and then and that will slow you down. And Olympics is all about like, you know, getting the speed. House of uh, Flora Flower, the Retail Florist Triathlon. Mm-hmm. This event includes... A designer answering the phone and taking an order while working on a design at their design bench while also welcoming no, a walking client into the shop and taking care of all three flawlessly without swearing. Oh, oh, the without swearing part is the hard part. <laughs> That's where I'm out. I'd be out in five Gotta keep minutes. it classy. Fucking phone won't stop Wait, me. we also have uh, Corinne saying, removing the bag from the head of the hydrangea. Chris Drummond dropped a good, bunch of good ones. Pallet jack races, flattening cardboard boxes, carrying cases, bases up and down the stairs, filling water tubes. You guys got a litany of responses here. Okay. This is great. We might have to actually do this. Uh, flip from, okay. <laughs> You've been talking about the pallet jack races. Well, well we're like not that. allowed to do pallet Why jack races Why don't we do it anymore? at SAF? That... We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we do it at SAF? Every, every company brings their own jack, their own driver. We need, a, cl- we need a closed course. We need a closed course. We the had parking lot of the hotel. We had multiple people with processing, multiple people with uh, cleaning buckets, um, multiple people with, uh, yeah, a lot. George Wells White wrote, um, loading the most flowers in a van without spilling the water or breaking heads. Um, Andrea, Andrea Muller said, processing jet fresh roses. <laughs> I think she wins just for saying Jeff. Rushes. Jimmy, Jimmy, the tulip said hauling huppas from the beach back to the truck, a hundred plus yards in the sand. Oof, yeah, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. So we had a lot of that's great hard. ones, and we'll announce our winner. Um, oh, we have a winner. Is there well, a prize? Of course, for a winner. Like the Olympics, we had to have oh. a first place. I said one. Which, I said one. You didn't mention mine. Which one did you? Say? Well, you say? Where, where did you say one? Yeah, pumping the gladiolas up a flight of stairs. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. are heavy. Do we have a question for next week I, already? I thought I, I thought of one, but I didn't I didn't post. Why didn't you but post? But I was thinking more I was thinking more the flowers are the Olympian and logistics. That flower, if people think about what it goes through to get to that wedding, get to that event, get to that table setting, it is an Olympic oh, event. It is. It's like the great it American is. race to get a flower from South America and into then, an event. And then perform. we ask it to perform, mm-hmm. right, Mimi? We want 
we want 10 days. We want two weeks. <laughs> 15, 15. Right? <laughs> it looks like crap. Why'd you send me crap? Well, let me start with <laughs> right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's that Olympic event that it goes through and it's beat up at the end of it. Yeah. It's it's really a long trail when you think about it. So That could almost be so, a yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> not an exciting one. Not Probably exciting, not. right? Uh, I was saying we're going to turn Uncle Willie's book into a script. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Screenplay. Did you read it? Yeah, we read it. We have several copies all over the office. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a good. signed yeah. copy. Yeah. Not good for you. We need uh we need Dennis. You could write a book. If it's a book on tapes, I can talk it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do an audio book. The gift then. of gab. Like yeah. The gift of gab. I don't know about writing. That's Mr. Leafshine is a really good yeah. name though for a yeah. book or a play or something. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. the title yeah. would be like yeah. Shining right. On, you know, Shining On. Throughout. What about a one, a one man show? How about that? This is free consultation, yeah. by the way, DW. Place. This is yeah. free here. We're giving yeah. out free ideas. This is killer work here. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Too much attention on DW. That's 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 where I struggle. I've always <laughs> focused on the product. I was focused on what I did and, and had it with passion. And when it becomes about me, then it gets a little more nerve wracking. So, yeah. Similar to someone uh, else. Mimi said, how did, how did Mimi you said, get into Mimi said, shine business? Mimi said, hey, I want to get you on the podcast. And I'm thinking first thing I'm going. Who tapped out last minute? I mean, <laughs> yeah. who tapped out last minute? You're going to call the flower fresh. food. We're always you're going to call minute. the you're going to call the flower food guy. You know, an hour hour Never. in advance and go, hey, we need you, man. Listen, Dennis, <laughs> I've always told you my favorite thing to do is watch you sell because it's fun, right. and uh, right. and and listening to you and Mike talk together would be just like I'll sit there all day. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mimi. So, Mike, you you asked how did I get started? Yeah, um, where, where, I mean, and where did Mr. Leafshine get born from? Because... Yeah, well, yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I started actually in the greenhouse. I was working in a greenhouse for six years in interior plants. And so I learned a lot about growing cycles. I learned about the conditions and everything that plants go through are very similar to flowers. So anyway, when I left the plant business, it was actually a family business. And where? You know how... You know how working for a family business can be, right, Ryan? Um, it it comes it. with a challenge. But I was a son-in-law, so it was the son-in-law that needed a job, you know, kind of thing. So it was time for me to to move on. It was um, it's it's long gone. Um, it was called Four in One Nursery in Homestead, and it was uh, it was a family business. Most of the most of the plants were sold to brokers, uh, so there wasn't a lot of marketing or anything. It was just a farm, and they grew a great product and. Uh, but we used a chemical called Benelate, and it killed everything, basically. It was made by DuPont, and they had a disgruntled chemist who had contaminated a batch and basically killed off everything. So oh, that shit. pretty much was the end of the farm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. That's a terrible end. Yeah. Yeah, it's I terrible. I just watched but... the movie on the plane about DuPont and their, yeah. and their uh, Teflon. Yeah. Wow. Who bigger knows? isn't always better, right? You we all have bigger, to, bigger every problems. human on the planet yeah. has Teflon in their body. Oh wow, wow! We're, we're, all, non, so, we're all non-stick. So, okay, so non -stick. all of our pots and pans, all of our microwaved items. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Everything that's we cook. basically yeah, we're yep. we, we're full of we're full of Teflon. Wow. Even so, the babies are born with it because you know whatever. Anyways, that's it, not. It, it uh, never goes away. Yeah, are you sure you're not just full of a bunch of Teflon, Mimi? I am. I mean, that sounds like a bunch of Teflon. <laughs> it was a good movie on Netflix. I recommend. Yeah. It. Right. Right. Um, so anyway, so my wife actually got into the flower business first. Uh, she interviewed with uh, CFX at the time, uh, Jim Hill and Dwight Haight, and uh, many of the throwback people know who that is newer people won't know who that is but they were obviously some pioneers in the business and she was interviewing for a job that another person by the name of lisa they were both named lisa and um she didn't get that job but they liked her so much that they created a new job and her job was selling to mass market so she was you know that pretty blonde that they put out there to those produce guys <laughs> to try to talk them into putting flowers in the in the produce department and she had the midwest and anyway so she started first but then she had left the business and when i was looking for change 
she said, go to the flower business. You can do that. And I'm like, I've never done sales before. I don't know anything about sales. I mean, I'd been working around a farm, you know, working with production and doing all that sort of thing, but not sales. And she was convinced I could do it. And so she pushed me into it. And I interviewed with, uh, um, and, uh, I, first thing in the interview they asked me was sell us a pack of pencils. Well, I'm not a sales guy. I'm going, sell me a pack of pencils. Okay. So I just went into describing everything I could think of a pack of pencils that, you know, they were number two and, you know, they have a, an excellent eraser. They pack 12 in a box, blah, blah, blah. And lo, lo, lo and behold, Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sell, yeah. Me, <laughs> sell me this <laughs> pen. Dude, you can sell anything. Can sell, sell, anything. sell me this fucking pen right here. You can sell anything. Sell that. Go ahead. Brad, yeah. show them how it's done. Boom. Sell me that pen. Watch. Go on. Let me sell this fucking pen. Do me a favor. Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. I'll yeah. show you that fucking pen. <laughs> yeah. Give me that fucking pen. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, so yeah, that, that was how it all started. And then um, I did that for about two and a half years. And I said, okay, I like this industry. I like what wait, I'm wait, doing. Wait, wait, wait. You sold them the pencils? They bought it? Yeah, I did sell them the pencils and I got the job. Awesome. So yeah, job. yeah, yeah. So, so, so anyway, so I would say I learned a lot. People there, don't know what pencils you know? are. These young people, they don't even know what pencils <laughs> well, that, are. They're, 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 oh they're, my gosh, I think Mike. I want to backtrack. I didn't even think did, of that, Mike. What did, you're what right. Did you, yeah. What did you say so, to uh, sell them the pencils? He said, he said he we told, he described We should have them. them. We should have him yeah, sell us something. That's right another. Now. That's we another should... game that we have later on. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So. So. Anyway. Um. It, was it my best sales pitch, Fern? No. But I was. <laughs> I got through it, and and I did make it, and I ended up with the job, and I actually was successful there. Um. I took a pile of rocks, and, you know, got it to that, goal number. They always want you producing over a million dollars, and. Um, was that I think wholesale? I had it close to. Was I that think wholesale? I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I had it close to two million at the time. And this was 30 years ago. So it was a lot of that was a lot of cash. It was a lot of, you know, big money. That's a nice number. So yeah. Oh, um didn't Jimmy yes. the Tulip work? Shut up. Yes, he did. You gotta ask him if he if he had to uh, sell them pencils. <laughs> <laughs> well, Should I ask him right now? Hold on, call yeah. Jimmy. He'll have yeah. he'll, probably depends on who time. did the interview. I I'll get you guys. I should, I should have recorded. I should have recorded out. that. Jimmy's running Dennis, over. Dennis, what here. year? What year was your interview? Oh gosh, they Let's still see. made pencils, so it must have been ninety, <laughs> probably like ninety, <laughs> right around there, around ninety, ninety-one, Jimmy. something like that. Jimmy the Tulip, welcome Woo! to the podcast, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> I read your inspiration this morning. It was pretty good, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, when you were hired at uh, your the company you were at previously to here did you have to sell them a pack of pencils did they ask you During to the sell interview. them in what the was interview? your interview process like um the company no my interview process was basically same as here i was hounding them down i went over there i did an interview i spoke to the owner and <laughs> that was so it. You, you stalked them no, until they maybe, hired you. maybe no two back you gotta go two back oh no, yeah. no, I, uh, I, I just uh, m met up with uh, the father, I forget his name, uh, and I interviewed with him, and no, uh, no, I didn't have to sell him anything, I just told him my Maybe because he build knows oh. that nobody knows what pencils you are. You guys, I don't know why you guys saying that, yeah. I have school supplies to buy, and they're, all of them are pencils, there's like a whole row in, in, in Walmart of pencils. Sell me a laptop computer, or something like that. No, I mean, he I didn't. wonder... No, he didn't. I mean, I sold myself. That was it. Same thing I did to <laughs> Fernando. You sold yourself to Fernando? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yes, he did. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty much. I sold myself. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Okay. That's right. it. Okay. That's <laughs> it. Wait, 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 wait. There's no extra headphones? Wait, can no, I say? No, no. <laughs> Get out. You're out, Jimmy. <laughs> it's pretty funny he wants to be in him he always he wants to be on he's him. dying to be a guest host he's <laughs> yeah. like ferns out i'm in <laughs> that's funny that's funny so so yeah so anyway so got the job got the sales where i wanted them and then uh i just i just wasn't making what i needed to make you know and i needed more opportunity but i liked the industry so i started searching around for other companies and lo and behold the 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 uh, person that my wife was competing with the job with at uh, CFX La Florette at the time, her name was Lisa also, we, they became best friends through the relationship. Lisa, and Lisa. To, 
Lisa Davis is her name. Mm -hmm. And to this day, she's still very good friends. She lives here in Atlanta. So anyway, um, she introduced me to Jim Kaplan and said, I know this guy that's hungry, you know, and, you know, Jim, and it's funny you say the Wolf of Wall Street, because Jim says, I want a hungry guy. I want a guy that, that is, you know, wants to go chase that business and, and grow it. And I was hungry, you know, I liked the industry, but I wasn't making the money I needed to make. And so he, she connected me with Jim and then after a simple interview process of Jim that took six months. Six months. Mine was three. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, Jim likes How to interview, an interview for a long time. How does interview process take six months? You don't you know, know Jim. You have to sell dating. him a house? It's like dating. You want to get married? You got to date first. No, it is came it like, to the point. Is it is it like you get one interview and then like three months there's nothing? Or is it like? Yeah, it was a lot of empty space in between. Okay. And it would be me calling going, hey, you're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no. I mean, I'm interested in the deal. I mean, I really wasn't searching because I was like, hey, you know, from a guy from Nebraska, simple life and going to work for this international company and I get to travel and 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 go beyond my cubicle of selling in a flower box and not even seeing the flowers. You know, it was it was, you know, it was an exciting opportunity for me. So um, I wanted the job. And finally, after six months, I think. He kept kind of blaming it on the Dutch, but I wasn't sure if it was the Dutch or if it was him or or where the where the, he the likes slowdown to play was. That game. But yeah, yeah, he go, uh, you know, I, I I gotta, you know, I gotta convince him, and you know, and then finally I did interview with the owner's son, Nick Hoffman. He came down. I interviewed with him, and uh, and then after that, you know, I've been thirty years later. I'm here at Chrysler, still doing the same thing. Still have a passion for what I'm doing, and. Still believe in the mission of what I'm doing, and 30 years. Yeah, He's still yeah, hungry. So you get a I golden can of leaf shine. Yeah, you get a golden one or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I do get unlimited uh, cans of leaf shine. So. And the no, reason they gave you like a golden and the, and the reason they call him Mr. Leaf Shine was that's another one you sold. You were the number well, one seller of leaf shine. Yeah. What 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 actually when I backtrack a little bit was. I leaned on my history, you know, so since I spent so much time in plants and I had six years in that side, knowing that business, it was it was something that I could grab a hold of and understood very quick and how to use it and, and why to use it. And so um, I just latched onto Leaf Shine and man, I just pumped it every every wholesaler I could around the country and hit it hard. And I didn't push them to buy one case. I said, you know, buy 20, buy 15. We need to load up the shelves. We need to. And I pushed it. And my mission was to get it every single wholesaler in the country. And at that time, there was really only one major player that I was up against was Green Glow. You know, they were the brand. And they didn't really have a guy, a hungry guy like me chasing that business. It was just kind of they had the business. So I was chasing it and I chased it every day. And, and to this day, I'll I'll say I've sold more leaf shine than anybody in the world, and I oh, I don't yeah. think there's anybody else that could challenge me on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think about in my little world. You know, it's like Mimi used to say, it's kind of nice being a big fish in a little pond because, you know, we're really a little pond in the big world. But um, I always tell Jim, I said, Dad, gum it, why didn't you sell something with some real major dollars? You know, <laughs> we're doing a couple of billion dollars in sales by now. You know, yeah. crazy. So, but yeah, but your no, first, it just, your that, first day of the job was the show, wasn't it? Oh yeah. No, my very first day on the job was, uh, on a plane to Phoenix and, uh, I was, uh, super flow. it was the super flow show. I, I, you know how I remember that day was, um, shortly, I think it was on day two. OJ Simpson was going down the highway in his <laughs> white Bronco. So, <laughs> so oh, that's how shit. I remember that day. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty noteworthy uh, if i forget when did i when did i start night oh yeah oj <laughs> 92 <laughs> or whatever, 93 or 4 or whatever it was i think it was 4 anyway so yeah and uh so anyway so i went to the show and we had a little 10 by 10 booth with a little table with all of our little stuff set up and and what's jim do he walks away from the booth and just leaves me in the booth by myself. And I'm going, uh, yeah, it's my first day on the job. I'm going, here's a brochure. Yeah, the guy that knows everything, he's this way. I mean, I was panicked. Yeah. I mean, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that's fucking great. <laughs> so hold on. Did you have any, like, you, did you do any research? None. Nothing. Nothing. Well, no. There, Six months of interviewing. years ago, 30 years ago, it was all paper research. Where was I going to get it? I mean, you didn't have a lot of, you know, I mean, Fern. 
Ferd, you have no idea. I was writing Armelini labels by hand. I was, <laughs> I was writing or purchase all the orders by hand. Um, I would be there eight o'clock at night doing orders, and my wife going, "Are you coming home?" And I'm going, "No, I'm at the bar getting hammered. You know, I'm hanging out. Yes, of course I'm going to come home. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to build this. You know, so I had a bigger mission on what I was trying to build. I mean, I. I looked at it as my business. Jim made it incentive to where I wanted to grow the business. I cared about the yeah. business. It wasn't just a job. Mm -hmm. It was something more than a job. And I think I think that that's the atmosphere that you need in a company because if it's just a job, it's going to pass away and you're going to move on to the other job because when it's more than a job, you I think you work through the hard moments. You work through the tough things. You work Amen. through but but when it's Man, past just a DW, job, the you got basket. Yeah, I'm like I'm jumping. You know, it's, it's getting rough here. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. You know, and I and I can say I never felt that way. You know, I always told my wife. I said, well, you know, as long as it's going good, I just I guess I just keep going. And here I am, 30 years later, going. I ain't got a choice. I'm 61. Where I go now? <laughs> <laughs> so, you can go back to selling I, pencils. Yeah. That, well. <laughs> You know what's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. So so anyway, so yeah, that was how uh Mr. Leafshine uh came about and then of course video started being made and then people like Mimi uh earmarked <laughs> me as Mr. Leafshine. I didn't I didn't proclaim myself Mr. Leafshine. I think it was uh my colleagues who who decided to well, you also me looked. That. You and, also, uh, you know, he also had so many other names: string bean, uh, so many because he's tall and skinny. <laughs> so he also looked like a can of leaf shine. Why, so are, you I why say, are you making fun of him? <laughs> Shorty? No, I'm not making. Oh, come on, Dennis. Uh, 15 Is there years a leaf and... shine mascot? Did they have one? <laughs> no, we no. did have a tea bag. No. We did have a tea bag mascot, like a, a what? No, I tell you what, that was one big campaign we did. We and I loved it. We used to do some crazy campaigns oh, where. We we um actually we launched the the tea bag that product with the it's like the tea bag pouch. You just throw it in the and, bucket. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So so we were uh, we we did teapots. We did we did all these preparation type advertising where we tease people, you know, of tea everything related to tea and all these teasers and like what's coming and then all of a sudden boom here it comes the tea bag you know pre measured ready to go and anyway so we had a trade show coming up. And I tried to hire Mr. T. But I pity the food have been so <laughs> stinking <laughs> cool. He was, was he unavailable uh, or just out of budget? He was going through a health problem. No. Listen, he wasn't that bad. It was like five grand for the appearance. I'm like, <laughs> I'm all in. That would have been awesome. I want to hear your your impersonation of Mr. T selling a tea a bag. <laughs> are you are you just uh, and fool by the tea bag. <laughs> that would have been. That's it. What are you doing, fool? Get tea bag in your buckets now. I mean, that would have been awesome. That would have been great. That would have been awesome. I mean, I'd already fantasized how good Hold it would have been. Can we and steal this like, idea? Can too, we get Mr. T? Is it too late? Is it too right? Is it too late? I think he's still around. I think he's healthy. I think he's he okay totally, now. But yeah. at the time, he was going through some health stuff. So anyway, I pity the fool I mean, yeah, who doesn't had, have a tea bag. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm telling you. <laughs> It would have been fun. It would have been a hilarious oh, thing. Man. So, yeah. So, no, but anyway, so we had some fun around it. I even had one of my sales reps, just to tell you, off-color one a little bit. Um, one of our colleagues, a sales guy, he was so excited about it. He went and got uh, brand-new shirts made, and, and he had them uh, embroidered, and he put tea bag specialist. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's sitting in a booth, and he's talking. You know, some guy walks up to him, and he goes, tea bag specialist huh. oh really oh, and he really? just like what what, what yeah what was are you talking Tom, about was that tommy bro <laughs> what did i miss no, what is so funny no, what did i miss that was john Dram. do you not know, oh. what, john you don't know what a tea what bag the, is I... mike yeah i'm not gonna explain it Call no. Joel. Okay, okay, Joel. So, explain no, it. Joel, no. Joel, yes joel please explain what a tea bag is <laughs> this would have to edit <laughs> I'm not all right wait, we don't have to edit it okay so tea bag um I can give you several versions, right? You got the little tea that makes tea, right? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But it, in video game world, it, you know, you can kill a guy in the video game and he's laying there and he's still watching what you're doing for a brief second. And you are literally crouching on his face, like teabagging him in the game. 
That doesn't work because no. you're still using the. Well, the, the I'll explain it to you later, Mike. Know what that is. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'll explain it to you later, Mike. Okay. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Anyway, it's bad. It's not something you want to wear on your shirt. Let me write sure. this down. Okay. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> But the thing with Chrysler, um is that you're not only just selling items to y- to like the um, your public and your your customers. You would we would have to go and sell stuff to the actual Netherlands to like the headquarters. Like we're going to sell this project. So I yeah. really want you to tell the story about when you did the one two three the soldier one with. De- oh. with- Imagine now the Dutch people, not all Dutch people, but okay. it's, you know, they think that, you know, the Americans, oh, the Americans and, you know, like crazy. Americans. Yes, exactly. Well, That's... yeah, we have we have a reputation. So anyway, so Dennis wanted to make sure that these, they had that reputation. We, oh, we have these we had these annual meetings and the annual meetings was full of spreadsheets and everybody showing graphs and all these kind of things. And very boring. I mean, with the time change, you're struggling to get through the day. And so Jim and I had come up with this idea that we were supposed to uh, promote how we had launched the professional one, two, three program. And one is hydration, two is yeah. transport, and three is like actual flower vase. food. Mm-hmm. That's your vase. So, and, and we were supposed to come and tell the story. So Jim and I um, had actually come up with this idea that Everybody's wearing suits, by the way, these things. I mean, it's suits and ties at, back in those days. You know, it was all full dress. And Jim and I said, hey, listen, time out. We got to take a break. We got to prep for our presentation. We need to go in the room next door. And so we go next door and we strip down and we put on military garb. So we've got camel pants and and, and shirts and and we put on hats. And then, you know, the dosatron you have hanging on the wall that doses out your material for mm-hmm. your flower food. You know, we were holding that like a weapon. You know how it kind of goes across and, uh, and uh, looks kind of like a weapon. So uh, we're holding these and we and and while they're getting impatient waiting for us, so they start chanting and start pounding on the table, which was great. I mean, they all knew Jim was a character, so they would start pounding on the table waiting for us because they were getting impatient. Well, were, were they saying and, anything what, or no, just No, they were pounding. probably just Yeah, like, yeah just go. pounding on the yeah. table and 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 so we kick the door open and we come in like military style and we, and we go, we wrote a, 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 a lyric and we were like, we sell cries on professional clear. We sell more every year. Left, right. And the Japanese, right? <laughs> the photo's just rolling, man. Oh, and they were laughing. And then the ones that didn't understand English too well, they're going, what's, what is going on? What's going on? What, what's happening? But it was great. It, and it was, it was, uh, you know, and then Jim goes and he goes, Sergeant, what are we here for? Sergeant Wheeler. And I go, training, sir. <laughs> he goes, what kind of training, sir? Are you here for? Cries all professional training, sir. <laughs> and we just went on with the whole lyric. And it was fun. It was fun. Everybody and you guys, laughed. It was one. It was like, you know, like those marching. And then one, two, three. We sell yeah. one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it was it was really good. It was it was fun. It was well done. And then Jim got excited. Okay, next year we're gonna dress up in skin tight, naked. Uh, um, uh, you know, like you're naked. The naked uh, skin tight. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, and I'm going, Jim. No, no, <laughs> you're going, I'm out. You're going I'm too out far on that one. <laughs> that was a one and done, bud. We're, I, we're I, not gonna do this too far. I think you <laughs> had the hunger, but you also had a really good time. You guys were like a good duo. They literally opened yeah. up every single whole they flew all over the country and drove shared hotel rooms did that whole thing and it was theirs and that's yeah. something that's hard to train it's hard to teach you know and i you know i say i mike i see you sending your guys out there to see the market see the place see the business you have to do that because it's really hard to teach that in a room it's really to put your hands on it to touch it to feel it to see what the wholesaler does day in and day out know their experience, know the potential. You know, sometimes you think a guy's small and he's enormous. And then sometimes it's the other way around. You think they're enormous and they're very small. But, you know, but when you're able to go out there in that market, I didn't make a single business trip where I didn't add on as many visits I could possibly get in in the area and just add days to a trip and just gain more experience. And it wasn't that there was big sales pitches going on all the time, but it was 
a, a quick introduction. It was a face. I mean, there's people that I met for the very first time. I've met them once, never have seen them again, but yet we have a relationship just because of that single meeting. Um, I can give you one that's earmarked with with something you would remember. Remember when the the FBI building in Oklahoma got blown apart mm -hmm. by a, a truck bomber, uh, Timothy McVeigh, I think mm -hmm. was his name. Was that the yeah. guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, blew off the whole side of that building. Why well, went into that community like it was only like three year three weeks after that? I'd flown into Dallas. I said, you know what? I'm gonna drive up to Oklahoma, and check them out there. And I and I went to meet Kevin at the Alternate Choice. You know, but yet I got a great relationship with him. And, you know, I've been talking to him for many, many years. And, you know, and it's just from that one trip, one visit. And at that moment, did I do any great sales pitch or anything? Not really. It starts with a relationship. Right. And then the rest starts happening later as you develop that time with them and, and mm -hmm. partnership. But um, but yeah, it's I think getting out there is super important as much as you can. And and uh, but like Mimi said, we had a lot of fun doing it. We traveled a lot. We did a lot. We laughed a lot. Um, yeah, and we just had had fun doing it. And sometimes we're too spreadsheet driven as companies, and ah. sometimes the yeah, and those get those get overwhelming. You know, being spreadsheet driven, it's no fun. It's boring. You're not having fun. Yeah, but what you... about mem do you have to memorize any organizational charts? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of that sort of yeah. stuff. It's exhausting. What about Dennis? How about you want to you want to fill out an uh, an NPF, a new product form? Oh, to get a new product, and and a new product could be simply changing a private label on a sachet or just yeah. something simple, and it's a task. It is, but it was it was easy because it was a quality a product. At least you had that back yeah. in you too. So yeah. Yeah. And, and there's not, and, and we don't have a lot of competition. So there's people that wait, on, they'll wait on you to get it done. I mean, we do have competition. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like there's a hundred guys pitching. There the same is item. only one Mr. Leafshine. Damn yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's I do. No I will have to say I sold my fair share of professional too. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done pretty good with all of it, but yeah. Leafshine that's what, was that's my, what we your, have back that was here. My, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And thank you for that. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah. And, 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 and another thing that I, you know, is funny cause just telling stories, you know, um, I, I've only been to Colombia and Ecuador once, um, which was a good experience. It's really all I needed. I didn't need to go a hundred times to really get a feel for it. Um, but <clears throat> I was in this one particular story was Ecuador and I went, I don't know. Do you guys know Santiago Lindano? The sweetest, Santiago the sweetest has been guy. in the business for yeah, Ever. he's the sweetest, uh, sweetest guy in the whole planet. Um, well, he's with Chrysler. He's still on a consultant level with Chrysler now. Oh, um, he used to work at yeah, CFX. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was born in a flower field. I mean, he pretty much knew the business. He lived in Ecuador for a bunch of years, too. Um, but anyway, so Santi was traveling. I was with Santi, so I felt, okay, I'm safe. I'm with Santi, and Jim went. So the three of us were in the hotel in Ecuador, and it was the first morning up, and we're up early. It's you know going to roll out before the sun's up, and and Santi looks at me, and he says, hey, Dennis, whatever you do, don't eat on the side of the road, and that's all he said to me. And you guys got and separated, like, and you got I'm separated. Like, no, I'm like going, no, and I'm like going, what, what do you mean? I'm going to be eating with you. I don't, I, I, okay. I'm, I'll eat what you eat. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm going, that's a crazy comment because he didn't say anything more. That's mm -hmm. all he said. And so two cars pull up and they say, oh, Dennis, jump in with, uh, truth is, I don't even remember the guy's name, but, you know, I'll call him Bob. <laughs> Bob. But it, was, it wasn't Bob. <laughs> it was like a Bob in Spanish. I think it's it was Andres. like Jose. I think it was Andres. Oh, that's a joke I wanted to say this morning and I forgot. What do so, you call a man so anyway, with so, no arms and no legs and water? Yeah. Bob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> His name was Andres. I think it was Andres that went with you to that. Okay. I don't remember, but he didn't speak one word of English. So anyway, so they said, get in the truck with him. So I get in the truck with him and we're pulling out of the hotel and their car goes left and ours goes right. And I'm going, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> they went that way. That way. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kept on his way. And I spent the day bouncing around the mountains, 
farm with what farm. little bit of Spanish I know, which is a couple of words, you know, I can give colors, I can do numbers, I can, you know, <laughs> I, can, I can tell them I need the baño, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm the limited. Import, you know the important <laughs> stuff. Yeah, and, and so anyway, so we've been bouncing around for hours and it gets to be about one o'clock. Guess what? He pulls over on the side of the road. And he goes, hombre. And I go, oh, no hombre. Andre. <laughs> and he goes, oh, hombre. Okay, see, I don't even know it right. But I, I knew what he was saying. And so he kept repeating it. And I kept saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets out of the truck and he forces me out of the truck. He's like, let's go. And I'm like, okay, fine, let's go. So I go in. I sit down. The only thing I recognized was Coca-Cola. Beyond that, I have no idea. I ate it. I have no idea what I ate. Um, we get back at the end of the day. It's the evening. You know, we're sitting with Santi and Jim. Of course, I'm giving them a hard time for doing that to me. But anyway, so I look at Santi and I go, so Santi, how long do I have? <laughs> <laughs> and I just pause and I'm looking at him and he goes, he looks me up and down. He goes, you're a big guy. He goes, maybe 3 a.m. <laughs> so the whole night I'm tossing and turning thinking I'm Montezuma's revenge is coming. I'm going to get sick. I did not sleep that whole night because I thought I'm going to get sick from eating on the side of the road. It never happened. Of anyway, so it, ended up, it was a good trip and I had a good time. But okay. anyway, so it's just one of those fun experiences. That I imagine I like like yeah. Dennis holding on to like the door hinge and like the guy pulling yeah. him and he's like <laughs> desperately begging it, it not to get out. It pretty much was like that. It was pretty much like that. I was really not getting anywhere. I didn't have words. I didn't have words to fight him. So anyway. Listen, how many yeah. times, Dennis, did we have like people <laughs> asking us if we were selling drugs or how many things like, you know, with the yeah, white powder true. from Colombia, uh, translate it's this, true. help this person that's stuck in immigration. Yeah. We always got those with the with the Christ, with the powdered flour food. Um, so it was always fun. Yeah. And remember, oh, we even got called out. Remember when we had the issue in Minnesota? Yeah. Kids were selling our Kids were packets selling of, the packets of, saying that it was bath food. <laughs> yeah, they were selling it as crystal bath salt. Oh, crystal. shit. Not crystal, it's crystal. crystal bath, yeah. So we had to deal with that supermarket and say, hey, listen, no, and deal with the bad press and figure it out. And then it ended up going away. But yeah, they were selling it. The police were <laughs> That's investigating. That's a marketing it a nightmare. <laughs> What about the crazy lady who wanted to uh, wanted to fly to Miami and kill me for the rival? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, that we was, can't say her name. We can't say her name. No, it's... that was the eco lady. That was the eco. Yeah. The yeah, eco yeah, rival yeah. Is it a foam? Ours or is, is eco. It a we have eco too, memes. I wasn't selling it out. I was. Me and Bird a... just fucked around with her. We still, we still say that shit. A... No, is Mike it a constantly. Foam? Is it a sponge? Mike constantly calls it, you know, reusable. Look, you can clean your shoes. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Hey, I think... you know what I loved about Mike? In, you know, when I, when he was romancing his packaging selling the product i was just like this guy's got to get rival live on there we got to get that napkin off there and we got to get a real product i mean the way he romances it is it, i mean people just don't know how to sell their products they you know it isn't just four bunches in a box pack 25 it, there's more to it than that and i think that's super important to spend the time and energy to show passion and love behind what you're doing it's like a meal right there's a lot of meal love that goes in a meal it isn't just some ingredients you throw together and you eat there's a lot more to it so i think that you know when that happened i'm just like mike a napkin's made for sucking up and holding it it's a the quicker picker upper right that's the slogan mm -hmm. i go this releases it you need this to release and then of course there's that video that you made and mimi was in it um where we opened a box that had been stored for 28 oh. days. We really didn't know what was going to come out of that. I I'm was, like going, I was oh my so God, nervous. This could just be, this could be a disaster. But then when yeah. we saw difference, go, oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> that shit works. Oh, so I remember, works. I remember walking oh, that in. That was insane. I remember, that was insane. That was when we came and gave Mike his private label and we were just like, whatever. Yeah. And we, it was so funny because both Dennis and I were driving in Dennis's car and Dennis was like, man. I don't know. He said that it's been in the cooler for a long time, Mimi. And then they're like, Mimi, do the video. I'm like, if you see the video, I'm looking around like, what the hell is going to happen? Because <laughs> I thought you guys edited a lot more and you didn't. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like I was freaking out. But yeah, it was. And then yeah. we saw really 
there was where we really noticed the difference because of Mike, the the, the whiteness of the stems. We really saw that, and then they kind of yeah. like went in and and started. And, you know, Mike, you helped a lot with product development. You know, it was that one day that you called me during COVID for like three hours yelling about uh, branding and why did we not have the Chrysler name on the on the packaging? And that's and guess what? They we have, have branding. It now. There's branding now, Mike. Hmm. You were you were really. It- you just didn't have to and fill out an NPF, but you were really, really working for Chrysler. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have to fight the duchies on it. We, we did, did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but we have the uh, we have the Chrysler Arrive Alive printed on our boxes. Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the awesome. Logo's on our. It's it, it's part of the flag that we fly, and that goes well, you know- globally. I mean, there are big numbers. I mean, it's one box here, three boxes there, but. It's still going all over the world, which is cool. Mm-hmm. But you some know, I think the key on it, and some places do. I think the key with that, Mike, is you know, you you know, you can just have a restaurant, right? But it's what happens in the kitchen that really makes that restaurant special, right? It isn't what what the, it's just a restaurant. Everybody can sell a flower and have a flower, but it's what happens in the kitchen and how you prepare it and how you handle it and how you treat it, because it's not a secret that. The roses come from Ecuador and Colombia. That that part is a given, right? And growing, it's a given that they, the growers know what they're doing. But post-harvest care is a whole nother animal. And what happens after we cut, the growing doesn't end. It does, it's still alive. It just doesn't have its roots anymore, but it's still alive. So we got to maintain this life as long as we can without its roots and with all of its problems that it comes with. And I think people don't think about that in the life of a flower, they go, oh, well, I buy from Jet Fresh and they treat it right. Well, that's good, but don't drop the ball on your end either. You gotta treat it all the way through to the consumer because we need the full consumer experience mm-hmm. for our business to really have the Jeez. wow moment because you have two wows. You got that wow of receiving, receiving receiving flowers, right? That's a wow when people get flowers. I don't care who it is. You get flowers, wow, that's beautiful. And then the second wow is that they last a week. I mean. You know, if you're not getting a minimum of a week, I mean, a week is even with all the bad crap we can throw at those flowers leading up to getting there, you should be able to get a week. But if everything goes perfect, you should be able to exceed that. So, you know, it's, it's, we've all seen it in our own vase test. You've done, you do it all the time. You go, Hey, Dennis, those have been there for two weeks. And I'm going, wow, they look great. You know, and that's, that's how proper care and handling comes into play. But when you figure these these plants are going on a plane, getting on a tarmac, going into a cooler, going to a truck, getting bounced around, throwing in another cooler, offloaded, get delivered yeah. to a, a There's shop. There's multiple breaks in the cold chain, which... Oh, you know, the it, stress. The stress on these plants yeah. is huge. Yeah. And the plants react to the stress. And that stress comes out in different ways. It comes out in yellowing foliage. It comes out in bloom drop. It comes out in so many other ways that you know you're like oh the blooms are dropping because they're old no the plant is stressed and and it's going through stuff now that's where we got post-harvest care products that can help with that stress and some you know some of its treatments they do at the farm give it a drink because if that flower didn't get that drink of that post-harvest treatment it would never make it to the table in a lot of cases especially your ethylene sensitive product never make it to the table it would just wilt in day one or two and People would be surprised. Like a carnation, we all think, oh, carnations last forever. If they don't do the post-harvest care in that carnation, it's not lasting forever. Yeah. So it's it's there's a lot of – post-harvest care is a category of its own, just like growing is. Growing is growing. But at that point, the grower, he cuts it. He's done. He, his knowledge stops kind of there a lot of times where it gets handed off to another department of post-harvest care. And I know at farm level – it's an important level. They have an agronomist there. He's managing that, taking care of that. But what I find is once it gets to a wholesale retailer, they're not always taking it that serious. And sometimes they put the low man on the totem pole that just started yesterday, throw him into the booth and tell him to sell Chrysler at a show, right? I mean, it's kind of like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, you're just putting there going, ah, Trial by I, fire. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Right. And, but that's an important space that they're putting them in cutting those flowers properly, handling them properly, getting the right treatments, getting the right treatments correct, getting it into the coolers, you know, doing all the things that they need to do at their level. 
And I think that that's where sometimes, and I get it, they're a bookkeeper, they're a designer, they're a salesperson, they're the driver, they're, and I get it. There's a lot that goes on there, but you can't skip this part. Skip something else. Skip the bookkeeping. Hire a little bookkeeper part-time or something. <laughs> you can't skip the post-harvest care because it's, it's the ingredients. It's the love in your kitchen. It's the love that's going to go on the plate. It's and if an you mess up there, necessity. oh, if you mess up there, all this that those flowers went through to get there, it's all for naught. It's, it's a all disservice. For it it's a disservice the to the whole the whole oh, process. Yeah, it almost has to be yeah. like a hospital. It has to be like a sterile environment. Yeah, you, know, you gotta keep it out of clean. There. Keep it yeah. neat. Yeah, you don't want a dirty kitchen. You gotta yeah. keep your kitchen clean. Yeah. I mean, it's be the side of the road on Ecuador. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I must have had the gut to take care of it. it, it, it no, let me it tell you, some of the finest cuisine in Ecuador yeah. is on the side of the oh, road. Oh yeah. No, no joke. The best yeah. on the side of the road. Ew, no. I yeah. think that might have been what best I had. Best guinea pig on the yeah, side. Yeah, you had the guinea pig. He had the guinea pig. I think that's pig. what I had because it was a flavor I've never had before. Yeah. I'm pretty so, sure it was so guys, pig. I've avoided the guinea pig. Just saying. I know Mimi's trying to keep us on track. Yeah, guys. I would eat it. But I, can't I can't eat anything that has a face. The little face with the claws. If they chop, yeah. if they chopped it up, put it on a sandwich. It would, yeah. It would. It would, it would like probably be amazing. Or something like that, but if you if you're gonna sure. present it to me with the face and the teeth and the claws, yeah. you know, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen. Again, let's do this. We have a great big announcement. Oh yeah, we were announced. That Jeff Fresh has entered into a even deeper strategic partnership with the great people from Chrysler. And now you can find their inventory on our inventory. Well, awesome. a select pride, select products. That's awesome. Yeah, we have it's leaf a shine. But by demand, shine. but by demand. Yeah. More products can go up, right? Yeah, exactly. Damn right. Damn skippy. So, Fern, Fern, what's the list? Or Mimi. And and when we move, and when we move next year, there will be a Chrysler area where we're going to have the product Cash in stock. Ready to go. On display, ready to go. Especially the hot deals, because we're going to buy the hot deals. Okay, so we are going to have some of the hottest products. It's hot couture again, but hot the Chrysler, couture. Hot. The Chrysler hot, hot, couture. hot couture. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find your transporters here at Common. Whoa, where'd that accent come from, Mimi? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mimi got street on I, me I just real quick. Keep coffee. it going. All right? You got the one. You got the, the first step possible. You got to start with the clean buckets. You got the cleaner. Let me tell you, that concentrate cleaner, you just one little capful can make a hundred. That bottle makes a hundred little sprayers. Oh, yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Double it down. Look at that. Double it down, Dennis. <laughs> Double the bucket cleaner. Okay, so we got not just the cleaner. You got the you got the easy dip, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta do the easy dip. Drop it inside, and then it's ready to process. By using that easy dip, you're gonna intake the water, the water absorption from the flowers when they're drinking their hydration solution. And then after that, after that, we've got the number two. We got the number three. We got the leaf shine. We've got the glory. You don't want your flowers without a little pencils, spray. Two, can I, can you I ask know, a question I'm about upset. the leaf shine? I'm upset that Mimi yes. didn't in, didn't use this voice in the morning. Because when we you were guys didn't let me. You were talking, and you even said that Dolly made the presentation in I the morning Mimi. meeting. No, I you didn't. Mimi. You said Dolly. So, okay, that's okay. I don't mind me being messed up. I like in. the accent, too. It's good. Yeah. I've never heard that yeah. one before. What? Me neither. Done it. What? I've learned from the best. <laughs> well, can leaf shine be used on flowers too, not just yeah. plants? Well, well, the aerosol I wouldn't, but we do have a concentrate that can go on anything. The aerosol I would, I would not. Because sometimes the roses they come from different yeah. places. They got a little yeah. splatter on the leaves and stuff. If you could put the leaf shine on it, wouldn't it no, make the roses we, look No, we nicer? got the we got the Chrysler Glory for that. The Chrysler Glory is an oh. anti-transpirant. It's basically like the it's like the deodorant for these flowers. It's going to make sure that all that moisture stays in. Like you're not sweaty, Stinky you're sweat. not all yeah, it's all good. Um so yeah, we have we have the flower food packets. We have. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Arrive alive. Oh, oh, that shit yeah. works. Yeah, baby. Yes so, it does. What's the minimum for someone to order custom packets? Oh, 
And can they buy it through two you? Boxes. Two boxes. Two boxes. Two boxes of 1,000 each. So what you're saying yeah. is, what you're saying is, just throwing it out there, what you're saying is that, let's just say a great customer that knows us well can call you up and say, hey, I want two cases of preservative packets with my company's logo or whatever on it. We can do it just two cases? Yes. Yeah, we can make it happen. Wow. Do you not have your packets there, Mike? Where's your yeah, packets? Right, Connor, right. Have. Connor brought them to the office earlier this week, actually, and showed them to me. He said, we got to get new ones because this is this is the, the previous version of Mike on those packets. Oh, there's uh, the new we, version. You know, I was thinking together. about that. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Maybe you need to change the name of your uh, podcast. podcast. No, not yet. Two, not two yet. twigs. Wait, wait. Yeah. Two twigs talking flowers. <laughs> not yet. No, because they. Twigs. No, Joel's corner. Dennis, don't worry. They gained the extra weight by having me come along and <laughs> sit in these podcasts. Oh. It's all right. Oh, good. It's but look, good. I think that's the best seller out there. So if you're out there and you're listening and you buy and sell flowers and use flower food, for any reason, in packets, there's no reason why you should not have a custom 100%. with your that phone number on it. If they, if they because, need those, you guys what can happens contact is, me. No, so what happens is, though, people might buy two bunches, three bunches, whatever, and they get like four packets. Yeah. They'll use one or two, and the other two go in the drawer. And every yeah. time they open the drawer, there's a message. There it is. It's mm -hmm. a business card. It's a business yep. card. There's a message. So... Get yep. on the phone and call Mimi right now and order your custom made. Like we all, we, we all do these pens. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We all no, do these no, pens, but Mimi. this pen doesn't say what this company does, right? This right. doesn't say what they do. But a flower food packet actually talks to our business. It's different. It's a piece yeah. of marketing no, material not, that speaks our It's part of your marketing budget. It's really. not just that, guys. It's also a PR yeah. because it's telling your customer yeah. you cared enough to make sure that they have that second wow experience. So it's a reminder. And like Mike says, you can put one in the drawer and then you're like, oh, Mother's Day is coming up. Those flowers lasted two weeks. And so in now yeah, I'm in Minnesota, call. Minnesota, you I've can even, resell I've even, I've even thought of crazy ideas. Like if you had like a high-end shop, like if you had a high-end shop, it's kind of like a hair salon. You go into a hair salon, a high-end one. They have designers that are, you know, people go there to get their hair done by. I know Fern probably does that. Mm -hmm. Goes to a des hair designer that that is very, you know, you know, whatever, doing flames on their hair or whatever they do, all <laughs> that kind of stuff, you know. But that's what happened. That same thing in a that's what happened. They yeah. did the fire on my hair and it just it never came. <laughs> it back. never came back. It clogged up the pores. So anyway, so but you could have like top designers at a shop and they have their name on designs by, you know, yeah. Carrie or designs by Mike or designs by whoever, you know, and that way you're promoting your designers within your shop too yeah. and elevating them in your shop because it's about the people. We talk about Jeff Fresh isn't about Mike, right? 100%? Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Jeff I don't think so. I think, I, I think Mike, Mike elevates his people. And I think that's the yes, key sometimes in a shop too to elevate your people and make them take ownership in the business itself. So I think that that's a cool way because they can actually do a photo of the person, yeah. you know, on the design and, and you know, so it's it's a cool idea, but yeah. and plus, and it's not a fortune to do Plus you it. can let people glom them and just take a whole bunch. It doesn't cost you a fortune. It's kind of like when you go to Dunkin' Donuts, you grab a whole bunch of extra napkins, you know, yeah. they don't care. You know what, also but, when they but consult But those napkins them, will be in your car in your, right. in, in, for, for a week, right. for months. Because yeah, in case yeah. something spills, you Chick got Chick-fil-A, baby. Chick-fil-A yeah. all over. <laughs> it's a calling card. It's a calling card. And I think to consumers, it has a bigger perceived value than what it costs. Oh, we did that yeah. study, Dennis. Didn't we say? We did a yeah. study with the you home. Know, you guys should be printing that up, man. Two cases is not, what is that, 4,000? 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. 2,000 sachets. It's nothing. There is a lead time. There is a, an ordering time, so and it adds up. Form. But no, no, there's no form. No, it's quick. It's a very simple process. Just email Mimi at jetfreshflowers.com. But I will say also what what I was um, we did a study and people saw the perceived value of that flower food to a dollar to a dollar twenty, wasn't it? And this was back in yeah. nineteen in 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 the long early, time ago. No, it was in, it was ninety nine. No, it was two thousand something. Something. So, like anyways, early two thousands. Mm -hmm, so. 
I mean, there is value to it. So I would, I would. Well, be and consumers in. and consumers do know the product. Oh, consumers yeah. do. If if people ask, what do I do for a living? I don't go into this big. You know the little packet you get on a bouquet of. Oh, that I got. That's me, guys. That's the simplest that, way I can explain to people what I do. That was you know, one humbling it's... experience. I had to go to Philadelphia with the sa- national sales man. No, the international sales manager Hugo, and we're sitting in Philadelphia in one of those rooms where there's a the 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 mirror where you the mirrored window where you can see mm-hmm. they can they can't see us. They know we're there, and they're talking about our product. And they were like, oh, my mm. gosh, I can't believe somebody has a job of creating this. Like, like they were like, they were just like talking about <laughs> what a it. crappy job. They were like, you know, and I'm there. I'm like, I designed that package. You know, like it's the most humbling experience to watch people critique or to even that. But it was also interesting because all the people knew about the product. Yeah. You know, just to add to that, if I said if you take a, a bouquet of flowers and it has 20 stems in it just for a number, 20 stems. And one stem goes bad in the middle of that bunch. What does it do to the arrangement? It really hurts the arrangement, right? But a lot of people will forego putting food because they say it's free. You know what? If that's the case, take that one stem out and add the food. Do 19 stems and add the food so that you don't lose one in the middle of the arrangement. Get mm-hmm. the full enjoyment. It's just not worth it. If that if that if that couple of cents is making the difference of you making or breaking money then take one out and design it with one less. Cause I've seen beautiful designs with very few stems. So you don't need more stems. Isn't always better. It's great for sales, but it's not always better. You know, it, it, it depends. Cause two, if you get the wrong mixes of flowers, it can, you know, if you got, Oh, Mike's got his hand up, Mike, your turn. <laughs> sorry. Well, Dennis so is today, man. He's on one. I'm no, sorry, I Mike. Love it. Did no, you just no. learn about the hand raising yeah. button? Yeah. Your... <laughs> no, I was, I was laughing my ass off. Somebody as his did. Hand and shows I said, up. Oh, I got to find it. I couldn't find it until I t- clicked on reaction and it was over there. Anyway, uh, to what, Jen- what Dennis just said, when I was in the bouquet business many years ago, oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to buy Sunshine's bouquets in Grand Union and take it mm-hmm. home and try to figure out how did he make seven stems look so big, <laughs> you know, and it's quality and it's treatment. And it's all the things that those guys did that I wasn't doing. And that's yeah. how they, that's how they're the big winners. You know, that's how they're, they're, they're the greatest show on flower earth. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, I wanted to go back to our Chrysler announcement. Since we talked about this, this uh, minimum two cases, I got a great idea. The first Five customers to spend four hundred dollars. All you gotta do is spend four hundred dollars. The first five customers will get, at no charge, two cases of custom-made Chrysler sachets. Oh wow! Free. Wow, that's That's a promotion. Wow! First five customers. First Uh, five. Do you know how much those cost? No, I don't think he does. No, I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. The first five customers, <laughs> well, me and Dennis, we're going to split it. Don't worry. We'll work it out. Yeah, we'll work customers, it out. He's right. We'll work it out. <laughs> the first five customers gets their custom-made two cases. Uh, we'll put whatever you want to say. We gotta it put doesn't this, matter. This is sponsored by Two Fat Guys, so we got to put this out on the socials. We got to share yeah, it. I was going to say, I Thank feel you, like Mike. Almost, That's awesome. I almost so there will be a two fat guys logo on the corner of the package. Oh, and the rest of you all year. <laughs> That's a cool idea. That's not yeah. a bad idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. Brought to you by Two Fat Guys Podcast. All right. So then, or so we got that challenge. That's the challenge of the week. Uh, first ones to spend four hundred on our comment. Um, we'll get that. And so now, should we have one? What's other... the turnaround time? Because people can't get it three right months, away. It's three months. Take... Three months, three months, but it's perfect time yeah. before Christmas. From before the Valentine's time the artwork, yeah. Once the artwork is signed off, so it's not from the point of discussion. <laughs> no, but three months from now. This, this, right now. Right. This right. is the perfect opportunity, guys. Spend that money and then get your flower food before Valentine's Day. So that mm. is it. Like you need mm. this for Valentine's. This will give that extra oomph. You need, and this. you've got the time. Mm. You, and you got, got the, the time. time and you got the talent yeah. to design. Canva is doing a yeah. great job. a piss poor performance. That's right. Uh. <laughs> so, Dennis, just because <laughs> you are, I you have could, to say. You should do like uh, fortune cookie uh, packets where each one has a different 
fortune cookie message. We tried Ooh. to do that a while that ago. We did the trend selection. Remember, Dennis? Yeah, production is a problem. The way it's produced on big rolls and oh, you have to yeah, pre-pre, yeah, yeah, it's complicated. And the cutting yeah. of things is a yeah. little difficult. But yeah. but let me yeah. tell you, it's a with, production thing. The, the best thing about the 2000 minimum is that you can go through a big holiday and be ready for Mother's Day. So you can order for Valentine's hey. now. And then later on, right when you're getting done, you're going to be able to order for Mother's Day. And you can do custom And by messages. the way, Mimi, if, if two is too few, you can add in, any increment of a thousand above that. Yeah. You know, if you're a big shop and you're saying two, that's nothing. I do that a month. Go ahead and double down because you don't mm -hmm. want to wait another three months for more. You want to think about what you would use in a quarter at least. And if you don't want to order every quarter, then half a year. But you want to think ahead a little bit as you're grabbing your last box to place another order. Is there an going. expiration on, on that? There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's um, a suggested. We do it on years. everything. Yeah, it's suggested. I suggested oh. two years, but it, it'll still work. Mommy's I got that shit in a drawer for way more than two years, and it's still good. And it's still good Mike. because, okay. Mike, it's there's still there's still portions yeah. of that of that product that will still work. There's just let's say some other portions might not be as working as strong, but there are other components still good. of it that are good. Yeah, the nutrients are yeah. still in there. Mike, they loved your when we had that uh, the group of educators that came through the other day. They loved your satchel. They thought that was no, the sachet. The sachet. Yeah. The sachet satchel. Yeah, satchel. That's all. That's awesome. That tomato, tomato. tomato, tomato. I thought he was carrying. I thought he was carrying a purse or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little satchel. Purse, I'm like, oh, there's oh. fun stuff in it. So, guys, before before we get to the questions, I have to say I'm so excited yeah. to see Dennis next week because uh, finally he's going oh, to come right. to an SAF and he's coming to Blooms and Birdies. Yeah, the Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis is a from last year. Dennis is yeah, a I true <laughs> champ because this is his second time playing for yeah. the Blooms and Birdies. So that yeah. means do Dennis, we have yeah. company golf shirts again, or do I need to bring one? No, no, I got you, Mike. Okay. Yeah, you go. <laughs> no, no, I got him. I got Mike. No, I'm saying he's good. Yeah. Uh huh. So Dennis, you're you're coming down for SAF. Yes. First, first one, time. right? First yeah. timer. Yeah. Thirty years, and they finally let you come to an SAF. <laughs> Because you're, yeah, the wholesale, your supermarkets, but, you know, finally you get to mingle with the people that we love. We love the florist. Right. I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited. I'm well, excited. I, I like the florist, too. So I want to yeah. challenge our yeah. fatties that if you see Dennis Wheeler, he looks like a tall uh -oh. can of leaf shine to just go up there and ask him what his favorite Chrysler product is. Because I know the fatties are listening oh. and they will they will go and see you at SAF because it's his first time. We, no, we need to give him like a code word to say to him. Oh. <laughs> well, that means <laughs> you get to go. Something that String we know. Something that we know that they listen. They, they say string bean. Okay. String bean. Yeah. <laughs> code name string bean. Oh, yeah. That's funny. So, That's um, funny. all right. I think we're ready for the questions, Ryan. Answer these as fast as you can. Don't think about it too much. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite? No. What is the best sandwich? Burrito. Burrito. Me Mexican oh. sandwich, brother. Mexican <laughs> sandwich. They don't oh, use hold, white hold bread. On, hold on. Hey, is, hey. Do you, would, Dennis, would you consider a hot dog a sandwich? No, don't, that's, that's no, dumb. This is a new question. No, 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 I don't know. No, I just no, want to know. Personal. This is a completely, completely new debate. This is a completely right. new debate. He just called a burrito a, a sandwich. This is a guy. That's the debate now. After my that's own the heart. That's is legit. a burrito a sandwich is the new debate. But it's legit. Huh? That's a lie, yeah, Dennis I mean, Have you ever seen a Mexican with two bread? Piece of bread? No, he's rolling that up in a tortilla. No, do you, call, do you consider have, a, a wrap sandwich? A sandwich? Tortas. Do you consider I, I a wrap a sandwich? I don't do wraps, but it, yeah, that would be a sandwich too. Isn't sure. a wrap like an American burrito? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. basically it's that's the gringo why. burrito. Yeah, it's you're right. Gringo burrito. <laughs> Dennis, that's a lie. You can't get that at Jimmy John's, how you love to order at Jimmy John's. That's a lie. You don't get a, a burrito at Jimmy John's. What's your well, sandwich? They don't have, sandwich? Well, they don't have, uh, let, he can have yeah, his leave okay. his, leave his answer you, right? to okay, me. God. We don't yuck your yum. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite flower? Um I think that one's a hard one. I like anything weird. I'm I'm I don't I don't like mainstream flowers at all. Nope. Um I, I can't say at all. I like all flowers, but I'm really into the weird stuff. When you guys come out and pull out weird stuff, I don't care whether it's a, a green or a a filler flower or even uh, a focal. Um, I just think it's cool. I remember when you came out with those, like, I don't know, what are they, like seven foot tall? Uh, I think you had some tropicals and, and you did some foliage stuff. I think that stuff is just cool. I mean, that, 
I like that. He and, likes Uncle, and like Uncle I say, or Cousin Carl's stuff. I like all the weird stuff. If it's weird, I like it. If it's mainstream, not so much. I agree. What so is I can't the scariest give you one. animal? The scariest animal? Uh, I, I'm I'm going to say snakes. I'm living in the country now, and <laughs> oof, snakes scare me, man. Oh yeah. I, well, all well, there's in the area I live. There's Look six poisonous you. six poisonous snakes that live in the area, and I, I think. I'm I'm scared of all of them. I don't know what they look like. <laughs> I've looked at the pictures, and when you get in panic, you're just like snake. It's all a snake. <laughs> let exactly. me pull out, let me pull out my guide. Let me pull out my guide to see if it's dangerous. Let or me not. see your eyes. Let me see. Are those eyes slanted? With a triangle head? Okay. I'm trying to yeah. count rings and stuff. <laughs> um, no. Okay. So, do you have a favorite or the most overrated or underrated flower? Or no, not really. Um. Yeah, I can give you something. I I think the I I, I don't understand like. The glad. Why is it a funeral flower? Oh. Why is it the? For, are we glad you're dead? Are we glad you're gone? Oh my god! Oh no! We're, terrible puns. D- terrible. Dennis, have you seen the glad that we're carrying? Why is? The, but why do they always say they're funeral flowers? Well, they I don't shouldn't get be. It. They shouldn't be. We have they these. Really what I always be. hear. We have these Great Lake glads in the office now, and a florist came and used them for an arrangement. And you should see how gorgeous she was. Like, right, Ryan? She goes, "I'm in love with glads yeah. now." Yeah, I think they're cool. I, I I think they're underrated. When people say they're a funeral flower, I'm like, what? I I don't agree with it. So, but I I, I just think it's underrated. You just yeah. don't see it in a lot of work. And I think everything makes work. a comeback. Everything yeah. makes a comeback. And many years ago, gladiolas were used in everything, not just funerals. Somehow they became connected to funeral flowers. I will say that's for sure, especially red and white ones. Yeah, but. Gladiolas are celebrated around the world and yeah. by as as a favorite flower. Uh, as Chinese New Year, I use for an example. That's the biggest seller of orange and red and yellow Freeze. gladiolas. <laughs> gladiolas are making a comeback, and growers like Great Lakes Glads have yeah. more than fifty varieties. Some of them they developed on their own, and they have novelties and they have all this stuff. Glads are making a comeback, and I'll tell you what, we're going to help that movement. We're going to make and I'm calling awesome. everybody glads else. great again. Dennis, what are you going to grow? I like glads. You won't find a better value you know, maybe, by the pound. Maybe I'll grow some glads. Maybe I'll grow some glads. I was going to say, what do you want to grow? Glads, glads I like glads. is a great, great value. It's a great I have, value. I have some glads growing in my property. Um, and it literally, I don't know if somebody planted I guess they planted them there. Uh, but it's in a valley area. There's just some glads that'll pop up and I'm going, oh, look at that. Went over there cut and them, cut a few. Put them in water. And, yeah, yeah, I did. I cut them and put them in a vase. Make sure so, you feed some yeah. flower food. <laughs> yeah, of course. Bulb flower and food. And a clean vase. Bulb, but the bulb listen, in specific. I, I, yeah. I, I, really, I really believe that gladiolas are going to make a comeback like carnations did. Because carnations was mm. a funeral flower too. Yeah, yeah. carnations yeah. are huge right now too. And now they're in weddings, events, everything. They're, they're well, making and a with a name, And with a name like glad, that's, that's like right. a happy name. Why it's is it, you know, come on. Come on, oh, come on. That's a party name. The only ones that aren't glad about gladiolas are the guys who have to cut them, pack them, and ship them. <laughs> and carry and them. Carry them and carry them up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. But, okay, so uh, I think the uh, overrated one, I'm not big in Ulster Maria. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I know every Ulster guy will shoot me, and a lot of it growing out there, but it just doesn't, I don't know. It just. What about the name? Ostronova. Ostronova. It's different. That's I think it's different. different. And I don't know if it's weird enough for me. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's different. Dennis has a he very like, artistic side to him. He would like the Asclepias him. that we're getting from Guatemala, those big green balls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen those. Those are cool. Yeah. Send there's it, a, there's send also a box. somebody had, a, I'm trying to remember whose booth it was, but Maybe. at the last show, they had like balls, or like yellow balls with the little spines on them and what, I don't even know what it was. See, I, it's a problem. I don't even know what you asked me what the names are. I don't even know what the names of this stuff are. Yeah. But they're cool. But it was like yeah. these yellow balls on the end of a stick and they had little spines all the way around. Yeah. Like, is oh, that what that was? Oh, oh yeah. No, I think, oh, he's I talking think that's about, cool. Yeah. yeah. If that's it, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What is your... pods, maybe. maybe. A What's your go to way to relax? I'm doing it podcasting i'm doing it right <laughs> no, here Podca- talking with some flower woods, friends and nature. talking with flower friends in the woods yeah it's dennis beautiful. dennis did a, a big change he went from all that traffic driving down to kendall and homestead and then now he's 
nice and no traffic. He looks like 20 yeah. years younger. <laughs> He's glowing. And I still have a hard time being to, out there. And I still have a hard time being to work on time. I'm running late. <laughs> like, wait a minute. No, it's you don't beat 8, me, 10? Dennis. You How don't beat happen? me. I told Dennis, I go, I'm a little bit different, but I still get to work late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Okay. What kind of flowers do you want at your funeral? Oh. Not glads. Not glads. Oh, I did I, oof. That one. Hmm. What flower do I want at my funeral? I don't know. You know, I just want lots of flowers. You know, I've told my wife, in lieu of donating to some cause that means nothing to me, go ahead and load it with flowers. I'm I'm just the opposite. You're a little I don't... controversial. You just want to go the other Listen, way around. I'm a cancer like survivor, it. but I don't want the money going to cancer. I want it to I want big flowers. <laughs> I want a room full of flowers. That that that's yeah. Pre-trying. That's the event. Weird flowers. Because Weird people stuff. enjoy it. Well people Gladiolus. you know. The flower, you know, the flowers aren't for the dead, by the way. Yeah. They're actually for the people who are there. And you watch people and they walk around and look at each one. You do not want to make every one of them identical. You want to make uh, them unique and yeah. get wild Dead. with it. And get... I think funerals should go back to cool because that's how you elevate our industry and get away from just the simple wreath. Yeah. You you get wild in there. And I, I think the, the, the designers and the shops that do that really – are breaking out of the box and they'll get attention. Trust me. People go to see their flowers at the funeral. They want to see what did so-and-so shop send for me? And they go, Ooh, really? That's what I got. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's so s- sending your old flowers, isn't a good idea. You want to send your flowers that are elevated and, and looking really good and charge the price. I mean, if they really care, you know, they're not donating to the cancer society. So let them p- spend 500 bucks for an arrangement. Right. She. <laughs> Dennis, pick a movie or TV character to have lunch with. Oh, that's probably a hard one. I'm not, I'm not a big uh, worshiper of uh, movie stars, so that's a hard one for me. Um, or, oof. or it could be Let's some see. people pick history character. I mean, not characters, like historical yeah, people. Or... No, I think, I think, I think maybe I could enjoy a meal with Adam Sandler. You know. <laughs> Talk I think about he'd be golf. a blast to hang out with, and golf yeah, he and likes golf, fun, yeah. and we could talk golf and pizza and whatever, and yeah, I think he's he seems like he'd be cool to hang out with. Yeah, I, agree. I guess. I agree. Yeah, yeah. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? <laughs> to shine the world, make it a shinier place. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Leafshine, living up to his name. Yeah. Dennis, yeah, if man. people need to reach out to you for care and handling tips or, you know, where to, uh, how, what, what snakes to avoid, how do they get, to, how do they get in contact with you? Yeah. Um, email dwheeler at com or my personal cell phone or, or it's work 305-588-3910. You're the first person to give out their phone. Oh, <laughs> I don't care. I'll talk to your, I'll talk to your shops. They want to, they want a little help on how to spend $400, uh, to, so they can get those free packets, which are worth 400 on their own. Um, I'd be happy to help them do that. You know, walk through what would be beneficial in their shop because too often they have very linear thinking and they'll think, oh, I need this one item, but I don't need $400 worth of it. Yeah, but what about the other items? You, Our products are made to work throughout your whole shop, the whole can of goods from the processing out the door to the consumer. So there's more than one product for your shop. Yeah. So well, did we, I can did help I, walk them through that. And we I'm forgot happy to, to do mention that. that they can just buy some transporters and they might get up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you need them but for I, the holidays. But, I, but if I don't answer calls, I do return calls and I will get to you eventually. So um, I'm happy to talk to anyone. So. Awesome. But, there you go. Dennis, yeah, could you yeah. suggest somebody to be a future guest on the podcast? Um, is this one of your standard questions? I didn't know I was going to get this. Let's see. <laughs> Watch your podcast. I don't remember that. Maybe it was one. Uh, boy, who would I? Uh, you who can would email. I? Uh, you can email. Us. I can. No I, 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 I'm struggling. I mean, you know, I love everybody. I, I mean, I don't know. I um, think. I think eventually we're going to have to have Ron Smith come on because he's a funny guy and funny, he funny has guy. some funny international stories that I would love for these guys to hear. You know, I mean, if you want to go to Canada, I could even, my Canadian rep, she's great, but that's Kreisel again. You don't want to hear another Kreisel story. So let's see who. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I'm sorry. No I don't worries. have an answer for no you worries. off the top you of can, my head. You can email us when you get a chance. All right. And, uh, we'll get yeah. you on. Yeah. Any questions? Anything yeah. we missed? We got all the agenda, Mimi? Mm -hmm. I miss you, D. Thank you, Mimi. I miss you, too. I actually call her memes, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. all right ladies and gentlemen this has been another episode of two fat guys talking flowers where we're always going to give you the good the bad today there was absolutely no ugly about flowers i'm fern here with joel mimi ryan mike and our awesome man of many nicknames mr dennis wheeler thank you guys for listening have a